fairy tale fashion designers, I'm Diana Ng, and this week we're playing with the Dradio. It's a neat toy that we found when we were visiting Miters at MIT. Hey! Hi, welcome to Miters. I'm Star Simpson. And I'm Josh Gordonson. Here we are. Miters uh, stands for the MIT Electronic Research Society. It's a student-run invention shop, half lab, uh, full electronics bench, machine shop, anything you can build, uh, anything you can want to build. Uh, it's all possible. Okay, I'll help this. Uh, okay. Okay, you want to draw? <laughs> we are playing with a Dradio made by Jay Silver of the Lifelong Kindergarten Group. It's um, a neat electric device that is attached to the pencil and uses graphite to make a complete circuit. So when the circuit is complete, it makes a neat little noise, and when the circuit is open, it doesn't make a noise at all. So you can draw different lines, uh, make different patterns, and play different noises. Dradio makes sound when there is a closed circuit from this end to this end. You can use any conductive material to close the circuit, um, such as a wire, or um, a human body, or, um, let's see, we can try this plant over here. This is similar to the jacket that Kanjun created in our last episode, which uses the human body to create a complete circuit. Since we're thinking about fashion, we took a Tradio and we hand stitched it onto this conductive thread embroidery. Um, and the whole thing forms a circuit. So when you touch the Tradio on one side, and think this could also be um, worn against the body, you can touch the circuit with your hand And wherever you touch the embroidery, it creates a closed circuit and makes noise. Now for this week's design question. We're going to be embroidering a dress with a conductive thread so that it is touch sensitive. What do you imagine happening when the dress is touched and a closed circuit is made? Do you think it'll make sound or music like the Dradio? Maybe it'll have a light up twinkling LED pattern that trickles out from where it was touched. Let us know what you think in the comment section below at the fairytalefashion.org website. 